Hi, I'm Ed Clancy. I represented Team GB in the Summer Olympics last year in the Velodrome. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about Ninebot. I discovered Ninebot back in 2007, I think. Our team nutritionist at the time was trying to get me to eat a little bit more on the bike during my rides and um, he recommended Ninebot to me and ever since then I've been hooked on them. I think I draw my inspiration from the fact that I just love riding bikes and um, it's not so much the winning or the losing or the competition that inspires me or looking up to an idol. It's just riding bikes. I've always loved doing it and hopefully I always will. I like Nine Bar because it's a refreshing change from the, uh, the typical sports bars and sports gels and sports drinks. For day-to-day -day training, I find it's a little bit more sustainable. It's been said a lot, but it did feel a little bit like a dream to be part of the London Olympics. It was a long time coming and it was uh, bizarre being there at your home Olympic Games. Snacking on nine bars compared to, let's say, chocolate or crisp, for example, obviously it's a healthy alternative. Yeah, I think they taste great and um, you know, obviously as a professional sports person, it's good to eat healthily and it's, a, it's an ideal snack. In track cycling, the, uh, the kilometre world record is, um, it is something I'd really like to have. Um, the kilometre is not an Olympic event anymore, but nonetheless, it's, um, I think the fact that it's not an Olympic event has almost made the world record seem a little bit elusive. I guess it'd be Sir Chris Hoy. I mean, Chris Hoy, over the last two Olympics, has done it better than anybody else. I think if there's one bit of advice that, uh, that sort of helps me, it's just to, to not worry about anything. You can go into sort of these, these major competitions with an awful lot of pressure and stress if you choose to accept it, but there really is like nothing worth worrying about.